morning welcome to my channel my name is fam claire and if you're just subscribing thank you you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber gracias mon ami <laughs> so basically today i'll be talking about menopause why am i talking about menopause you'll be wondering well we need to know yes women you and i your mother share this video with the female colleagues let them know that between the age of 45 and 65 yes you would definitely experience menopause god keeping us alive i have a little story i met a lady in the market and she told me that she was feeling dizzy she was just sweating unnecessarily and funnily she was wearing a jacket like a jean jacket in my mind i was like baby fancy this is I so hot to hot after well, i just said okay let me listen to her first so she was like she was experiencing this unnecessary sweating irritated she was feeling irritable david then that's just like a summary of how she was feeling and funnily she went to the hospital and she ran series of tests like she showed me the results she ran and uh, she checked her blood level that's her pcv she checked her white blood cells to know if there was any infection she did malaria test typhoid test. But she did everything but all came out fine like there was nothing wrong with her just for her gynecologist yes you heard me right seriously menopause and then she had to run all these tests no the lady was confused no one told her what to expect when this natural progression occurs menopause is a natural progression in your reproductive age in my reproductive age in that the sex hormones are decreased sex hormones like your estrogen and progesterone are decreased and you also have decreased ovary function now this condition this menopause comes with increased risks of some diseases like your cardiovascular disease and osteoporosis so you have women um, at this menopause age coming down with different bone issues because of decreased calcium so what can you do Firstly, you should know that the age of your first period can play a role in when you're going to start experiencing menopause. Menopause is basically a period of amenorrhea. That is no menstruation. It can, before this eventually sets in, you may start experiencing irregular menses. Just like when you're starting your menstruation, you do. So this also occurs when you're about to stop menstruating. So basically, you may come down with symptoms like irritability, headache, hot flushes, genital urinary atrophy, fatigue, whatever your symptoms are, let me know in the comment section. So the, the hot flushes are associated with decreased estrogen, serotonin. It decreased estrogen leads to decreased serotonin, which eventually leads to increased norepinephrine. Now, these hormones play a role in the regulation of your temperature. So that's why you may experience these hot flushes. And even some ladies wake up at night and their nights were as completely drenched, like I see they pour them water on the bed. Like, you know those days in secondary school when you would be celebrity your bed, they would just come and baptize you on your bed. That's just how it would be for some women. And this can stop them from sleeping well. Yes, they don't sleep well at night because it's so hot. And they don't know why they're feeling these hot flushes. So, tada, it's menopause. Well, it's so annoying. So what lifestyle adjustments can you imbibe if you start experiencing menopause? Firstly, you can avoid wearing heavy clothing. So that lady putting on that jean jacket under the hot sun would not even alleviate her symptoms. So in order to douse her fears, I just told her to relax. It's a natural process and then it's just going to she she she'll stop experiencing the symptoms after a while or rather she'll get used to these symptoms after a while just like how you get used to the symptoms you experienced before your menstruation so that's just how it's um eventually she will feel and if it's so bad you can go for hormone therapy and if you want to know more about hormone therapy let me know in the comment section so i told her 
the age of your last pregnancy, the age you saw your first, first saw your period, cytotoxic drugs, those are your cancer drugs, all these can decrease the age of menopause. Also, cigarette smoking, yes, it decreases the age of menopause by one or two. I hope this information has given you some clarity and has enlightened you with regards to menopause. So what are the lifestyle changes you can make to help you when this occurs or before this occurs? Exercise, that's the first one. Exercise and relaxation methods have been very helpful to some women. So you can imbibe this. Secondly, avoid wearing heavy clothing. Thirdly, avoid your trigger food. Some people experience these hot flushes, especially when they take a hot liquid or hot beverage or alcohol. So avoid those triggers, those things that will trigger those um, the hot flushes. Fourthly, some cooling, personal cooling equipment. There's this hand fan that you can just hold close to you when you're, when you're sweating, especially if you're in the market, you're not in your a conditioned car or office so you can use this personal cooling equipment when you're out there in the sun lastly there's a supplement known as black cohosh well it has been shown to be very helpful in women that experience hot flushes but before you use any supplement consult your pharmacist or your doctor so that they will know what best suits you i hope this video has added to your repertoire subscribe if you haven't put on the notification bell if you subscribe without putting on the notification bell you won't even know when i post videos so please do so thank you so much for watching until next time stay healthy stay informed and stay happy bye